Well, the Jiu-Jitsu 300 workout, you've got eight exercises. You've got 50 rep exercises and 25 rep exercises. You just gotta get through them, take a rest where you need it. If you need to take a rest between exercises, do so, just walk out or jog for a moment. Get your breath and get ready for the next exercise. If you get to a certain amount of reps and you can't complete to the end, just again take a rest, get back to it. If you want to skip the exercise and then come back to it at the end, that's also acceptable. So have fun, get a sweat going and get those drills practiced until you can do them without thinking about it. Let's go. So now let's look at the technical stand-up exercise. We're going to take a staggered stance on the side our leg is back. We're going to place our hand on the mat just in front of our foot of the rear leg. The rear leg will then sit through. We sit on the floor and now we're going to transfer to the other side. Then from here, we sit at the same position. We lift our hip, keep our leg extended, pull the foot back. Don't touch the floor yet until you go behind, completely behind your hand and then come back up. We go back through and we sit to the other side and back up. So let's look from the side. So as I come back down, place my hand on the mat, my leg comes through and then we have the seated position. We switch over, we're going to elevate the hip again. We bring our foot back all the way behind our hand. Try not to bring your foot from front and come here. You're going to be off balance when you get up. So we make sure that that leg comes all the way behind the hand and then we come up. We go back through, we sit, we go to the other side. If you're having difficulty at first, you can place both hands on the mat and then you can switch your leg back, you come up using both hands and then you can come back down and go side to side. Go! Jump back push-ups. So I'm gonna come down squat, hands come back on the floor, and then from here I'm gonna shoot my feet back. I'm gonna do a push-up, and then I'm gonna bring my knees inside my elbows, shoot back, legs down, hips to the floor, extend up, tuck the knees inside the elbows, in and out. But from the front, as we go down, we're trying to keep body nice flat, hands, fingers pointed forward, and the elbows tight to the body. We extend up, we bring the knees inside the elbows, we're tucked down nicely, and then we shoot back, press, knees in, back and press, knees in, and go from there. So next, let's look at the bicycle sit-ups. So we're going to be back, hands up to your head, one leg straight, one knee up. We're going to turn our elbow across, touch the knee, switch, a touch, switch, and touch. So as we switch, we tighten the core, we cross the elbow to the knee. Keep the hands up beside your head and keep your body nice and relaxed. Keep your body very tight as we come up and switch over. Alternate side to side. And get in those reps. In this exercise, we're not going to be going fast. We're going to go on a strong contraction, switching over and back. At a pace that you can handle. Rest as you need, and then continue and finish the prescribed repetitions. So the next drill, the shoot-in drill, we're going to drop shoulder onto your knee, getting low to the mat, we drop our knee to the mat, back leg steps up, and we come back up. And we're going to take a step back, we're going to drop down again, the shoulder, touch the knee, right down close to the floor, use your hands on the floor if you need to. Drop your knee over your toe, and then step up the back leg. 
moving back, keeping that low stance. Back foot will keep slightly turned, toes turned in, and foot flat on the mat as opposed to being directly like so. We want to be able to push off that full foot. We're dropping down. You'll see here I keep that gap closed between my shoulder and my thigh, and then I can get low to the mat. I start to drop my knee over my toe and then I hit the mat here with my toe. As I do it, I'm keeping my weight, momentum going forward, back leg steps up. I imagine there's someone there, I lift the legs and we come back. Keep it a stance nice and low as you penetrate on the penetration step. Change levels, penetrate. Now we can add in a little lift. Okay, now let's look at the split squat exercise. I take a staggered stance, rear foot, we're on the ball of the foot. The upper body is upright and nice and straight and keep the core engaged. Hands out in front, we're gonna drop down and lower ourselves. So our thigh 90 degrees to the floor, the shin 90 degrees to the floor. We're trying to keep everything at 90 degrees here with the legs. Keep the body upright and then we get up and down and we complete the reps for the prescribed number. And then I'll switch over. We go to the other side. Try to keep the body nice and upright. Keep the core engaged and tight, hands out in front, and work those legs up and down. Split squat. Okay, the next exercise is the hand spin. Excellent exercise for guard passing drills and takedown drills on the floor. So let's watch here. I go on a split stance, one knee on the ground, one leg up. I'm gonna place my hand on the mat on the side my leg is back. Then my other hand will just go to the mat in line and then I'm gonna pivot on my hands and I switch all the way to the other side. I come back, bring my arm back. I'm gonna place my hand again. So I pull my hand back to my knee. We switch over and back. We try to keep a nice fluid movement. If at first you need to step up, that's okay. We can step up as well. And then we're going to try and get low. So it's one step and we get all the way 180 degrees. Let's go. So next we got the sprawl. You're gonna place both hands on the mat, shoot the legs back, arch your back, try to get your hips close to the mat. Then you're gonna spring back up, and then we're in that fighting stance, ready to go for the takedown. So we defend our takedown by shooting the legs back, and we square our hips as well, shooting back up, dropping in and out. Now we can pick up the pace. At first, if you're not used to this exercise, just go nice and slow, place your hands on the mat, shoot your, your legs back, and then gradually arch before coming down. While warming up, it's a good idea to do some exercises like so to loosen out the back. Especially if you're not used to this exercise. Then we're back to the feet. Okay, so the next exercise is the sit-out drill. We're gonna go all fours, in all fours position. We're gonna sit out side to side. So watch here. I go opposite arm and leg. I bring my leg under. 
and I rotate towards the side. I'm using the elbow back like I'm pushing against the partner here, keeping that pressure against them, stop them to follow me. Then I lift my hip, leg drags under, back to the old fours, and then I'm going to sit to the other side. So opposite arm and leg are on the mat and we pivot over and back. If you want to add a little bit extra, you can rotate, bring your hands all the way to the mat, and do the super sit out, and up we go. Extend all the way up, come back. If you want some more push-ups, do a push-up on the way back. And switch side to side. Oops.